Ladies and gentlemen, I have been observing development within Azimio very closely. And one thing is coming out clearly. Kanozo Musioka is being given more prominence than before. Almost all press conferences are held at Kanozo Musioka Center. Kanozo Musioka was chosen to lead the Azimio team which will be negotiating with Kenya Kwanza. You also remember the international community actually met Kalonzo Musyoka first before meeting with the Ruto and Raila Odinga. And of course, of late Kalonzo Musyoka has been reading majority of Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Alliance. Which begs the question, why is Kalonzo Musyoka being given that prominence? And several questions are coming to mind. Is it possible that Kalonzo Musyoka is preparing himself to take over from Raila Amolo Odinga? For us to get answers to those, we need to ask ourselves several questions. The first question which we must ask ourselves is whether Raila Odinga will be on the ballot again in 2027. The truth of the matter is that during the 2022 general election, Stephen Kanozo Musyoka did not really come out strongly to support Raila Odinga. He did that, I think, because of the influence of Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. So the question is, will Raila Odinga run again? The other question which we should ask ourselves, what about Martha Karwa? Because Martha Karua was Raila Odinga's running mate. We all know that the Kikuyu nation have high number of votes. And Martha Karua is currently trying so hard to be as a new presidential candidate. What will happen if she won't be the candidate? The other question is, why is Kalonzo Musyoka currently within Azimio being given that prominence? Who is pushing Kalonzo Musyoka to the front? If we can get answers to those, then we'll be able to know. The other question is, who are the other potential candidates within Azimio? The truth is, there's Raila Odinga, who, who still can run. Then there is um, Martha Karwa. There is uh, Wajakoya V, who is a co-principal. Then there is Eugene Omalua. In Odium alone, there is Oparanya. And there is Hassan Joho. And again, there is the emergence now of Mwangi wa area. So all those factors points to one thing, that Azimio has several individuals, but who is best suited to face Ruto in 2027? That's the question. And I think, if you ask me, Kalonzo Musyoka is preparing for that role. But Kalonzo Musyoka, in my view, is getting everything wrong. If you are to come into the Republic of Kenya today, you would not think that Kalonzo Musyoka is a potential presidential candidate. I don't even want to check his Facebook page today to check the last time he had a political event. And personally, I've always joked here that I'm willing to, to host Kalonzo Musyoka in my village, in a church, because I'm, a member of AIC. I'm, I'm also a member of AIC, so AIC church. <laughs> So I can, I can organize, but Kalonzo Musyoka is not doing a lot. So in this video, I want us to look at the things which Kalonzo Musyoka needs to do right now. Because, you know, power is never given. If Kalonzo Musyoka is waiting for Raila Odinga to endorse him, it will never happen. If he's waiting for Karua to endorse him, it will never happen. Even Uru Kenyatta would not have wished to support Raila Odinga in the last election. Uru Kenyatta, in my view, had two options. His first option was that of Gideon Moy. The other option was that of, of uh, Musalem Dabadi and Kanonzo Musyoka. But because Awakoji Tuma Vizuri, Uhuru Kenyatta ended up supporting Raila Morodinga. And that's why, for me, I think Kanonzo Musyoka is not doing much. And therefore, in this video, I want to list for you some things which Kanonzo Musyoka needs to do as a matter of agency. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. What we do on this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find any other place. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Without the support, this channel cannot be where it is. And without any further ado, let us dive in. But before we dive in, allow me to thank the following people whom I received their coffee earlier today. You can also do the same using the numbers on your screen it goes a long way in supporting the channel and it enables me to produce more content ladies and gentlemen what are some of the things which Kanozo Musyoka needs to do as a matter of agency because for me right now I don't think Kanozo Musyoka is ready for the presidency even if Raila Odinga were to support him in fact if Azimi were to face William Ruto today the best candidate would still be 
Raila Amolo Odinga. And I'm going to explain. Number one, the first thing you must do is to consolidate the Ukambani voting bloc. Let's face it. If Kanozo Musioka were to be declared the preferred candidate in Azimio, then the, the, the Kamba voting bloc will automatically rally behind him. People like Alfred Motoa, Mudama, all those guys will come back to him. That is the fact. Ukambani will be locked. But you see, politics is not about you waiting to be endorsed for you to lock your region. Kalonzo Musoka must lock Ukambani early enough. He must rally the support of Ukambani from across the country early enough. So that if someone were to go to Ukambani today, they will know that Kamba is ready for Kalonzo. Without doing that, someone will ask Kalonzo, what are you bringing on the table? He will say numbers. Then he will be asked, how many governors do, do you have? Okay, he will say, I have three governors from Ukambani. That is uh, Mutula Kilozo Jr., uh, Wavinyandeti, and Malobe. But who is fully behind him as we speak? Mutula Kilozo Jr. is no longer with him. Wavinyandeti is in the middle. Malombe is retiring. So who does he have? Zero. Someone would ask him, how many members of parliament from Mukambani are fully behind you? You go to Machako's town MP, not with him, several others. So he must consolidate the mountain. I mean, the, 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 the Ukambani vote. So that's the first thing. That's the only time then he cannot go outside there to start looking for votes. I normally feel embarrassed that I sometimes feel like uh, Kalonzo Musoke is a candidate I can support. But when I see him, I see him in some funeral in Ukambani, you know, not beyond Ukambani. Number two, Kalonzo Musoke must start mobilizing for resources. And those resources, he must start now. Presidential campaigns are very expensive. And that's why sometimes I give respect to Raila Odinga. There are people I know who've contested for gubernatorial seats, who've campaigned for MPs. Once they are defeated, that's the end of story. For Kalonzo Musioka to realize his dream, for Kalonzo Musioka to be felt, he must have the money. What are Kalonzo Musioka's abilities to raise campaign money? Who are Kalonzo Musioka's international friends? Like, for example, Raila Odinga can go to Ramaphosa, he can get some money. Raila Odinga can go to Dangote, he can get some money. Raila Odinga can go to... What about Kalonzo Musioka? You know, William Ruto is currently involved in Sudan conflict because the rebel leader there funded his campaign, which means that was his friend. There was this Turkish guy who came into the country, funded his campaign. What about Kalonzo Musioka? I mean, do you think Kanozo Musioka can rally the Kamba billionaires behind him? And tell him, okay, this is the amount of money I have. I have uh, one billion. And the Kamba billionaires then can, can top up another five billion. Because for us, someone like me to advise, to advise Kanozo Musioka, because I'd advise him anyway, he will have to be paying me well. <laughs> yeah? For him to move from point A to point B, he has to do that. William Ruto mobilized resources between 2013 and 2017. So when he fell out with Uhuru, he had money to run his campaign. Those are the realities. So Kalonzo needs the money. If he doesn't have the money, he should not bank on Uhuru supporting him, Gideon Moy, or Sijui Raila, or Sijui Lima, Queen, asking you guys here to contribute money for Kalonzo Musioka. He must figure out how he's going to raise money. People like Songo can help him. That's number two. Number three, the, the third thing you must do is to figure out that in case Raila Odinga will not run, in case Martha Karua is not going to run, how is he going, for example, to win the support of Raila Odinga's traditional support base? I've had this conversation with several people and the other day we were like, I was telling these guys that if you ask me for 2027 election, Maybe Azimio should try Kalonzo Musioka. And I gave my reasons. Being that he has the Kamba votes, he has supported Azimio, blah, blah. Then the guy challenged me. Lee, can you tell me how Kalonzo Musioka can win the Raila Odinga's traditional support base? 
and he told me point blank that if elections were to be held today and Raila Odinga you remove Raila Odinga from equation and you leave Kalonzo and Ruto and you ask them to venture into Nyanza who is likely to win the support there how many times has Kalonzo gone to Nyanza for example how many times has he gone to 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 Kisi there's a time he had even a member of parliament there i think he still has one or two but how many times does he go there what about western what about coast the traditional support list to the people who normally support Raila Odinga those die hearts of Raila Odinga you want to tell them that they are supporting Kalonzo so Kalonzo must come up with a strategy on how to win those people and that's exactly what William Ruto is trying to do and of late I've been liking Kalonzo Musyoka he must change his brand of politics to a kind of firebrand you see today I was watching Babu Wino I think he was addressing the media after us attending some court and he was like Ruto must be like a president yeah if you want to arrest I mean if he wants to detain us the ruling should be made very fast so that we are taken to jail if it's not if if if, if not then we are released yeah now that's the kind of politics Kalonzo must play Babu Wino is playing it so well so Kalonzo must figure out how he can win Raila Odinga's traditional support base. Number four, the fourth thing he must do, which I think he lacks, and now I'll be forced to go to his Facebook page. Kalonzo Musyoka must invest in communication. He must invest. You can't win the presidency without communication. How did William Ruto win the presidency or the support of the hustler? just came up with a communication strategy William Ruto realized that Kenyans ni watu wa ponyo sana so just need to lie to them so he came up with a team led by Itumbi and he just started throwing lies here lies there lies there until Kenyans voted for him now if you look at Kalonzo Musyoka's Facebook page for the first time two hours ago he has posted something which is good the green memorial peace museum okay this is good yesterday Uh, there is a uh, Kalonzo afungua mingi kwa kina asio jua ndani ya okay two days ago of course this i think is trying six days ago from two days ago you go to six days ago when they had that meeting yeah then from there you go to 28th july 26th a funeral uh, okay you know 24th azimio you know Kalonzo Musyoka needs to send himself out. And in case he's not sending himself out, he must have a communications team which will be able to even at some point just have Kalonzo Musyoka have one on one issue as a short statement in which is in concurrence with the, in concurrence with Azimio. Kalonzo Musyoka can start commenting on some political issues even if it's not a, somewhere. I don't understand why for example Kalonzo Musyoka cannot just find a church somewhere in Nairobi to go and worship. A church somewhere in uh, Mombasa to go and worship and the you know so he must invest in communication identify the issues how can he appeal to those traditional Red Odinga support base and lastly I also tend to think that Alonzo Musoka must figure out how he can stamp his authority within Azimio you know Azimio if you look at the pecking order today there is Raila then there is Martha Karua then there is Kalonzo but of course it's now emerging most of activities are now at his center but for me he must do more he must figure out how can he stamp his authority so that there are certain decisions which he can make even without Raila Odinga or some decisions he can make but with the approval of Raila Odinga you know sometimes when Raila Odinga is out of the picture as me is kind of dead why because Kalonzo Musyoka has not stamped his authority you know for me if i were Kalonzo i would stamp my authority to an extent that i can easily call someone like Babu Wino and tell Babu Wino my friend uh, i want you to come to my home in Yata then they just have a, a talk the whole day then they just share having moments there people like the bungela wananchi i don't see what can stop Kalonzo from hosting those bungele wananchi at his home. Nothing. I don't know what you think, but for me those are my thoughts. I could be right, I could be wrong, 
but i know most of the time i'm always right thank you guys and may you have a good way a good day bye bye